Hello everyone, uh, this is Marty Clayton Banfield and I'm visiting today with Ms. Lena Air Kittrell. She's a very, very talented lady and she has uh, agreed to, to give us a little uh, taste of some of her talent today and we're going to start off with her showing us some of her paintings. She's an artist among many other things as you will see shortly. Okay, Ms. Lena, um, would you start showing some of the paintings for us? Um, you painted watercolor, you said, and yes. acrylic. Right. Okay. Watercolor and acrylic, mostly. Okay. And I would like to say thank you, Marty, for coming to visit me today. And I would like to sh begin by showing y'all some of my art. This is one that I did. Oh, that's lovely. I love those beach scenes anyway, but that's wonderful. That's a watercolor, wasn't it? This is watercolor. Okay. And this one is watercolor. Mm -hmm. In other words, you can see it better. Right, color, covered bridge. Yes, fall. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, sunflowers. Oh, yeah. That's and nice. this one is kind of a make-believe bird. Oh, it's a real colorful bird. I love that. And the and, flowers. And then this is a... Uh, oh. Beautiful. Daisies. That is so beautiful. A little pot that fell over. All of this is another beach yeah. scene. Done by Miss Lena, Air Kitchell. These are so pretty. And I did this one as well. Oh goodness, these are so nice. And this one. Oh, I love your colors. Thank you. Very talented lady here. And this is a pirate. Right. And this one is just some make-believe flowers. I tell you, I'm a flower lover. <laughs> I know a lot of people are. Oh. And this is a magnolia. Yeah, we're getting southern here, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> and this is a little oh, boat. That is ship. so lovely, isn't it? <laughs> Thank oh, you. Wish I was there. And this is uh, oh, the wren and the the state flower and the yeah, state bird, South right. Carolina, right, and the yellow and jasmine. And I just did this, I designed it on the computer and then painted it. Oh, okay. And this is just some pansies. Mm-hmm. And this is the nativity. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. And a robin. Mm-hmm. And I designed this one as well on the computer and oh. then painted it. It's, you might show the one over there that is the okay, original. You have, okay, you have a frame, one similar over here, right? Yes. Beautiful. Okay. And this is another magnolia. Mm -hmm. And then this is the barn down in front of the house. Oh, I love that. And oh, anyway, nice. this is a Indian mm -hmm. look to it. Yeah. Love those and colors. Now let me lay these over here for a second. Okay. And this is the wren, and this is similar oh, to the other one. Yes. And um, beautiful. This is a kind of a woodsy oh, scene. Oh, that's, that's pretty too. Let me get the glare off of my. Yeah. Can okay. you get it off? Got it now. That is beautiful. Thank you. Almost looked like the sun glaring through the trees for a minute. <laughs> um. And this is a, just a. That's pretty too. Oh. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. You're very, very talented. Thank you. We're back, and uh, I promised you all that uh, I was going to let you see uh, the many different uh, sides of Miss Lena and her talent. And so now we're going to see uh, Lena Air Kittrell, the writer and the author, and we're going to let her tell in her own words just a little bit about how she got started writing. Okay. Well, when I was a young girl, I first started writing some in the 60s. Then I wrote a little in the 70s, which I didn't write a lot back then, but I loved to write. I always did like to write as a child even, but I was writing mostly poetry. And so later on in life, about 30 years later, believe it or not, at the age of 58, I decided to enter a contest of and write a poem and the name of the poem was Calvary so I sent the poem to the uh, uh, contest and then they wanted to put it in a book but they wanted to sell me the book so I said no 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 
I'm mm -hmm. not buying the book that I put my poem in. So anyway, I decided then that I would start writing poetry all over again. And since that time, I've written over 3,000 poems. Wow. And these are some of the journals that I it's have written that. since that time. That's a lot of journals. And these are the books that contain the 3,000 poems. Wow, that's impressive, Miss Lena. Thank you. Ooh. And anyway, this, this book contains the first, some of the first poems that I wrote. Okay, and you're going to read us one of them. It's entitled, He Hears Prayers. Okay. I know thou hearest prayers, and know what each man says. O oh Lord, we need thee now. In this dark hour, your love is excelling. It is always thrilling. In those moments with thee, making a better me. All blessings come from thee. Your guiding light I see. And it's very short and simple. But oh, but it says a lot, doesn't it? Yes, and so in doing that time, I wrote about 60 poems during that yeah. early time. You're a very prolific writer. That's what you are, yes. Well, thank you. And um, okay. anyway, now I would like to show you yes. some of the books that I have published and tell you a little bit about it. Right. This book is called Cherish Mama. She walks okay. on it in a store. Look this look happened. Look at it. Yeah. Okay. This happens to be the last copy of the book. Oh, goodness. And I did this by hand at home, everything. The oh, artwork. I see that's your artwork on the cover. And the, uh, the yes. book, uh, I did all the work for the book and put it together. Wow. And my second book is the same, except it's called Golden Nuggets. Mm -hmm. And this book is mostly sayings. Okay. This is 800 and something little sayings. Wow. So that's what this book was. And the third book okay. is called For His Glory. Mm, and it's a poetry, a book of poetry. Right. So that is this book. And I still have a good many copies of this one, anybody interested mm -hmm. in it. For His Glory, right. Yes. And also, this was the fourth book that I, I published. And it's entitled A Poet's Heart. It also. A, oh, that's beautiful too. And I designed the covers and everything I love myself. That. Yes. And um, this is a poetry book as well. And then this one's entitled Story Time. And okay. I got brave and put my own picture on I the like front. I like that. But mm -hmm. anyway, um, this is little short stories mm -hmm. that I wrote. Okay. And uh, they could be for children or for adults. It doesn't right, matter. Right, right. And I can get more copies of this. Okay, if anyone wants some of the story time book also. Yeah, or either this last book that I did is my number six book. I love this. And it's mm -hmm. called Reveal Truth. And right. it's devotions. Okay. This is a devotion book. It's... um. I've had one lady that is a professor's wife to tell me she read it three times and she was going to go over it again. That's very impressive there, too. <laughs> <laughs> so I was really excited about her um, yeah. encouragement to me. Mm -hmm. So thank you, and I appreciate you um, looking at my books. Well, I sure appreciate you sharing all this with us. And, you know, that's pretty impressive because we live in the country out here. We're not in New York in the <laughs> center of publishing. For you to have published six books. That's pretty impressive. Well, thank you. And and it's a very talented lady, and we're going to pause again, and we'll be back with more from the very talented Ms. Lena Air Kitchell.